everyone, it's Apple Me Briars, and today we have this very exciting golden box to have a little look inside. So this should be my 70th anniversary stable mates, which I know have been out for a really long time um, over in the US, but they literally just arrived in the UK last week. So I'm so grateful to be able to finally have these stable mates as they are the cute little mini me's. And I've actually purchased a full set, um, kindly put together as a little gift box by Hot to Trot Model Horses. So I'm really excited to see how these guys are presented and um, they've all been handpicked to be high quality models so we should have some really nice stable mates in here. So let's go ahead and have a little look inside. Ooh. So she's put this really cute picture on the lid which is a picture that Briar supplied of um, the traditionals and the stable mates which were inspired by sort of different traditional horses. Um, she's also put in these cute little cards which are basically all about the models and so it's got a little bit of information about um, the mould and sculpture of the original mould and also what it's been inspired by. So I'll be really cool to have a look through those later but it looks like they've done, she's done all of the ponies. And in here, amongst all this nice packaging, we should have our stable mates. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick one at random. Okay, this looks like our Missouri Fox Trotter. Have a little look. Ooh. So this is the Missouri Fox Trotter, which is the new Stable Mate Mini Me mold of the traditional version. I have to say I don't like the traditional version very much at all. I haven't got any in my collection, but this um, Missouri Fox Trotter is beautiful. I love the one I've got. It's got really nice shading. I've seen quite a few variations, so I've seen some really light ones, but mine has beautiful shading and is a stallion. So I can't wait to show him. He's got lovely little flea bites on him. I don't know if you can see all the detail there, but he's super detailed. Considering these are blind bag stable mates as well, he's gorgeous. So that's number one. Let's do another pick. This looks like it's going to be the fighting stallion. Bear with me, I'm doing this with one hand. There we go. So we've got our little fighting stallion here. So he's done in kind of a vintage deco type colour. He's a charcoal fighter. And again, this is the first time I've seen the fighter mold in sort of mini me version, stable mate wise. And he's super cute as well. I actually have one of fighter in traditional scale. And although it's not my favourite rearing mold, I do quite like it as a vintage mold. So. It's nice to have a little stable weight version and it's quite cool to have something vintagey. Okay. This looks like we're sticking with a the vintage theme. I think this is the Indian pony. Just find the tape. got our Indian pony. So again another kind of vintage type paint job. She feels kind of made of a different plastic to normal stable mates. I don't know if that's a thing but she seems like more textured. It's really hard to describe. She's just got plain black eyes so no eye whites on her and got this kind of pinto pattern. It's just been done very vintage style but I do really like this mold. I quite like to do some customs on this little stable mate mold. I think, again, the Indian Pony is one that I don't have in traditional scale, but super cute in stable mate scale, and I wouldn't mind having a traditional version of one as well. Okay, next in the box. Oh, we're sticking the vintage. It looks like we're gonna do all the vintage ones first. Okay. And then we have our little wood grain Clydesdale. Oh, he's got a little, a little bit of some sparkly on him. There we go. So that's him. I really like this mold. I have Duke on this mold. 
um, who is the Stablemate Club version of this Clydesdale, and I'm going to have an Atticus when the UK shipment of the Stablemate Club models comes out. So I'm kind of trying to keep this as a full conga, so hence why I really wanted to get one of these, even though um, the wood grain style isn't my favourite, but certainly he's a cute enough model, so he can stay. Ooh, next we have the one that I'm really excited about. So it looks like we've got the little fell pony in here, just based off the tiny size. Oh, this one's taped in really well. Oh, just creating mounds of wrap everywhere. Yay! We've got little Emma. So this is the little fell pony. He's been done a little chestnut. I love this as a traditional mould, I think it's super cute and I was even more excited to see that they'd done a mini version because who doesn't love mini stablemate size ponies? Mine again has really nice shading in the mane and nice detailed eyes. Can't wait to show her, she's super cute. So that's her. Okay, we've got a few more to go. Looks like we're doing a gypsy banner. Oh, again, he's the first I own Stablemate Wise in this mould, and I love the traditional version so much, but I really, really like it in Stablemate scale. Oh, it's so cute. His big blaze there, and he's got quite pearly mane and tail, actually. And again, mine has lovely shading. It's so nice that these have all been handpicked to be really nice models. Um, and I'm so glad I've got the full set. So that's him. Um, I think so far out of the ones we've had, I think the Missouri Foxtrotter and this guy are my favourite and the pony. Okay, two more. So this is the Smart Chicolina, who has been shrunk down for Stablemate scale as well. I really am not a fan of this mould traditional wise, and I mean the Stablemate's okay, I think I prefer him in Stablemate scale to in traditional scale. But the thing I'm not too keen on with the Smart Chicolinas is I feel like the pose is a bit unnatural, and I'm really not a fan of this kind of like mane and tail stance. I don't know, I've just never gelled with this mould particularly, but he is quite cute as a, a stable mate, like I don't mind the stable mate more too much, it's not my favourite, but um, he's a little bit orangey, <laughs> like in general, I think all of them are a little bit orangey, but he does have some nice nice shading and he does have little, little eye whites as well. Although I kind of think, if I can get my camera to zoom, he kind of looks a bit surprised from this side, which is quite funny. Okay. On to the last of the eight stable mates from this. And we got the Croy. I kind of forgot about the Croy. I feel like it's because they've been out so long I forget which ones were actually in the original stable mate blind bags. Oh, come on, Croy. Here she is. She's just a little black pony. We have Blaze down the front, and again, Croy is one of the moulds that I really like, both traditional and stable mate. Um, I think Aaron was a really nice release from this mould, so it's nice to have a little, another OF buddy to join. Oops, that was just smart chicken up all over. Awkward. So we've made a massive mess and unboxed some stable mates. Um, she's really kindly so packed them really well. Oh, and it looks like we've got all the bags as well in case we wanted those, which is sweet. And I'm really looking forward to having a little look through these cards as well um, in my own time, which will just show me what these models were all based off in terms of traditional scale. I hope you enjoyed having a little nosy at all eight of the 70th anniversary stable mates with me and seeing which ones I got. I'm really pleased to have these and I'm glad they finally arrived in the UK. They've been a long time coming. 
I'm really hoping to get hold of a few of these moulds for customising because I think particularly things like the Missouri Fox Trotter and the Gypsy Vanner and the Croys and the Pony will be really cute to customise in lots of different colours. I hope you have enjoyed having a little nosy with me and seeing how beautifully this box has been done. Again, this was all done by Hot to Trot Model Horses and I'm really grateful that they sold them as an eight pack of hand-picked models because I have a rubbish look with the blind bags and I would just end up with 10 million smart chickalinas probably knowing me. Okay, I hope you enjoyed having a short look at these models with me and hopefully I'll see you in another video soon. Bye-bye!